First, a developing news that we've been following since it broke. One person is dead after an overnight fire on Plainfield Avenue in Metro Grand Rapids. 71-year-old Stephen Dew died in that fire. News 8's Joe Lafergy is live where the fire happened near Plainfield and Coit. Joe? Tom, Emily, the victim died of smoke inhalation, but a mother and her three daughters, ages 12, 10, and 6, were able to escape the fire here in the 4,000 block of Plainfield Avenue Northeast. Now, let me show you the building we're talking about. There's an insurance agency on the first floor of this building, two apartments above, and the apartment where you see the heavy damage there is that is where the victim lived. Uh, Brittany Erlanch and her daughters lived in the apartment just forward of that. Uh, state police brought a canine in to help look for evidence this morning. The Plainfield Township Fire Department and Kent County Sheriff's Department leading the investigation at this point. They're still trying to figure out the cause of the fire. Erlan said she smelled smoke about 11 o'clock last night. Her family's ordeal was just beginning. So I walked out into my hallway by my living room and saw everything was just a cloud of smoke. So I grabbed my kids and we went over by the door because we have to go down the stairs to get out. And when we opened the door, it was just white smoke everywhere and we couldn't see down the steps and I just carried them down and got in the car. I don't know how we made it down. Now, while they escaped with their lives, they lost everything in the fire. Brittany says they didn't have renter's insurance. If you would like to help, there's a GoFundMe page set up. We have a link to that GoFundMe page at woodtv.com. Live in Plainfield Township, Joe Lafergie, News 8.